Welcome to the online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about uh, labyrinth faking and uh, losses in the steam turbine. Function of the leverage packing in a steam turbine. In a turbine, rotor rotate inside the casing, rotor expand outside the casing at both sides and rear. The portion from where the rotor axis, the turbine casing is called the gland. And there is a chance of the steam leakage and atmospheric air ingress to the front and rear gland respectively. So it is required to seal the portion to prevent the leakage of the steam and atmospheric air ingress. Gland at the front end is called the front gland and rear is called the rear gland. To reduce the pressure difference between the atmosphere and inside the casing, set of the liberation seal are provided. He is discussed earlier this leverage seal causes the pressure along the rotor. But only the leverage breaking is not sufficient to prevent the steam leakage of the steam or air. So, gland sealing steam stem is used to prevent the laggage. Low pressure steam is supplied to the final seat of the leverage or labyrinth. Arrangement is done when the exhaust steam to drain out the condensed producting due to the cooling of the steam drain are also provided. Leverage Rint type steam steel also known as the labyrinth steam seal as the commonly structure is the comb, d shape and fire tree structure. Here number of packing first is the axial or facial type of packing in so one figure in this turn of the non-ferrous metal are culked into the gland casing thus the leakage is controlled by the axial clearance. This type of packing are usually used to the at the end of the high pressure turbine adjacent to the movable exhaust block in a axial direction. In a second is the radio packing. This type of packing in shown figure in this type packing strip are usually made of brass or any other suitable material. These strip are rolled or curled into the diagram. This is used at the end of the turbine remote from the existing the block since the axial clearance due to the differential action cannot be maintained a radial fixed clearance is provided third is the combined radial and axial packing in shown figure the combined radial and axial type of packing where the axial clearance is under the control these packing are also provided at the high pressure and adjustment movable to adjustment the block in this the packing ring are carried in a separate bush Four is the radial fins on the sleeve. So on the packing which consists of the ring graphite carbon spigoted into the gland housing and the sleeve on the spindle, the radial fin on the sleeve are initially in contact with the carbon. Next is the losses in the steam turbine. First is the nozzle friction loss. Second is the blade friction loss. Third is the wheel friction loss. Four is the loss due to the mechanical friction. If is the loss due to the leakage, 6 is the residual velocity loss, 7 is the loss in the regulating valves, 8 is the loss due to the wetness steam and 9 is the radiation loss and 10 is the governing loss. Here we have discussed the steam losses is one by one in detail. First is the nozzle friction loss. It is very important loss for the impulse turbine when the steam pass to the nozzle the friction loss occur and the formation of the eddies friction occur in the nozzle due to the factor of the nozzle efficiency and is the ratio of the actual enthalpy drop to the accidental enthalpy drop. Second is the blade friction loss. The loss is important of both impulse and reaction turbine. Blade friction loss is due to the steam landing over the blade and friction of the surface of the blade. 
the effect of the turbine blade is considered as a blade velocity coefficient the relative velocity of steam is reduced for these losses third is the wilson loss wheel steam passed through the rotating turbine wheel it produces some resistance on the turbine wheel as a result it rotates in a lower speed from the original speed it is the loss in the both impulse and reaction turbine the total friction loss is about the 10% of the turbine loss and four is the loss due to the mechanical friction this loss is for the turbine bearing and mechanical friction loss is due to the friction between the shaft and wheel bearing and also the regulating valve of the turbine this loss may may be the proper lubrication of the part of the turbine this loss occur both the impulse and reaction turbine loss due to the leakage leakage loss is uh, different in both impulse and reaction turbine in the impulse turbine leakage loss occur between the shaft bearing nozzle and stage diagram for the reaction turbine it may be occur at the blade tip this loss is due to the leakage of the steam on each stage of turbine and total leakage loss is uh, 1 to 2 percentage of the total turbine loss six is the uh, residual velocity loss when the kinetic energy of steam leaves from the turbine wheel it happens actually steam leaves from the turbine with some certain absolute velocity that's why steam losses kinetic energy and residual velocity loss can be reduced the by the multi stage turbine each loss about uh, 10 to 12% in a single stage turbine loss velocity in the regulating valve before the entering the steam to the turbine it passed to the boiler stop and the regulating valve steam get throttle in this regulating valve as a result the steam pressure will be less than the boiler pressure at the entry of the turbine loss due to the wetness of the turbine this loss is uh, due to the moisture present in the turbine when the steam passes to the lower stage of the turbine it becomes wet at the lower stage the velocity of the water and the steam are different and will not be form of the homogeneous mixture that's why the velocity of water particle is less than that of the steam and water particle has to be dragged with the steam and the some part of the kinetic energy of steam is lost this uh, loss occur both the impulse and reaction turbine next is the radiation loss this loss is mainly take place due to the temperature difference between the turbine casing and its surrounding atmosphere this loss can be minimized by the heavily inserted bind and this loss is in both impulse and reaction turbine next is the governing loss it is the loss in a both impulse and reaction turbine and this loss is due to the throttle of the steam at the main stop valve of the governor thank you